What's new, Poker Crew? It's your turn, Crow back here. You're watching your turn, such as Before I get started, please make sure you are serious, right? Come subscribe. Now, I'm bringing you guys a whole new team. It is Tuesday, so I'm bringing you guys a Trick Room team. My very first Trick Room team to be, to be precise. Uh, so, I had to make sure that I had two Pokemon that knew Trick Room, two Slow Pokemon, and two Fast Pokemon. So, whenever the Trick Room decides to, you know, go back to normal, I'll have those two Fast Pokemon to take advantage of that, but my team does consist of my defensive configure guests with the Trick Room holding the leftovers, my special attacking Renuculus also with Trick Room holding Life Orb, my physically attacking Rampardos holding the Choice Band, my specially defensive Mandibuzz holding Lumberry, my special attacking Rodom Mo holding the Rocky Helmet, and my specially defensive and attacking Scizor holding the Assault Vest, so maybe I can take advantage of that. But we are going to go into this battle, so I can kind of show you guys what went down, because this was a fun team for me to use. I've never used a Trick Room team before, so I'm going to lead off with uh, that King Tut, my configure guest, because I didn't know who he was going to set now, but I wanted to set up my Trick Room as fast as I, uh, as fast as I could. Now, I do take a knockoff, unfortunately. That is going to uh, get rid of my, um, is that going to get rid of my item or not? Yep. Yeah, I figured it would. Um... But it's gonna get rid of my leftovers, which is, you know, it's fine. I wish I had them, but I am gonna set up my trick room. I'm gonna switch out because, quite frankly, that King Tut does not want to uh, take another knockoff. I'm gonna go into a Pokemon who I feel can take a knockoff nicely. Unfortunately, he is gonna knock off Mandibuzz's Lumberry. But thinking about it, I'm glad that I switched into my uh, Mandibuzz, t t you know, to allow the Lumberry to fall off because. I would have much rather had Mandibuzz's Lumberry get knocked off than, you know, Scizor's um, Assault Fest or someone else's item that I greatly need. So I'm gonna knock or try knocking off an item that Venusaur is holding, but unfortunately it's a Mega, so it doesn't really work out that way. Uh, so I'm gonna go into my Configurus because I know I can take an attack or two from this Venusaur. My plan was to actually set up a Will O Wisp onto this thing. I just wanted to burn this plant, quite frankly, because I didn't want to, um, I didn't want this Venusaur coming out for nothing, so he unfortunately is going to leech seed me, and he is going to regain some health while I'm going to lose some health, and that's really unfortunate. I much rather get an attack instead of him regaining health. I would have gotten, I want, I much rather would have gotten hit with an attack than him getting health back, but I am going to get the Willow, and that's fantastic, because now he is going to get burned. He's going to raise his team special defense with the light screen, unfortunately, but at this point, there's really not much I can do. I'm glad I burned the Venusaur, because that thing would have been a huge problem for me. Um, he does know the Sludge Bomb, so that's just going to be a bad time. I'm going to switch out, because I really do not want my that King Tut to take any more attacks this thing has to throw at me. Um, sorry about the black out there, um, but I have it un under control now. But I set up my Renuculus, because my Renuculus can take a Sludge Bomb. Um, he can't take it that well, but he can at least take a couple of them. But I want, I sent out my Renuculus simply because I, I need this thing to take out the Venusaur. I'm going to set up a Calm Mind, because I know at this point, uh, after the Calm Mind, I can take another Sludge Bomb, and I can get off a Psy Shock on the Venusaur, and obliterate this plant. Because this plant is just problemsome. Uh, thick, fat Venusaur, it's, it's a bad time for anyone. So he's just gonna hit me with another sludge bomb, but like I said, I can take another one uh, with the with the calm mind. So I'm gonna set up a, I'm gonna send out my little psy shock there, um, and just take out the Venusaur. And I'm glad I was able to, even though this uh, Venusaur is um, thick fat. I was able to take him out from that range thanks to the burn. I'm so glad I got the burn off. But at this point in time, I was thinking, who should I, uh, who should I send out? Who should I, you know, just send up for Death Bother? Um. At that point, my Renuculus was the only Pokemon who I could really afford to lose, so I just allowed the Sylveon take. I allowed the Sylveon to uh, shoot out a Shadow Ball onto my Renu uh, Renuculus and take it out. So he knows. He knows all too well that if I sent out my Scizor, I could easily Bullet Punch. But he's going to send out his Heat Trend to take said Bullet Punch. Now I'm glad I was able to hit somebody with a Bullet Punch because maybe the Heat Trend was holding a Sash. Who knows? I. I highly doubt the Heatran is holding a Sash. I highly doubt that. I don't know who who runs Focus Sash on Heatran, 
but it could be a thing. I don't know. But he's gonna shoot out his flames, his flamethrower on my bone hand, my mandibuzz. Uh, I am gonna knock off. That was my main purpose of sending out my mandibuzz because I do not want my scissor taking a flamethrower. But I am going to knock off the Heatran's assault vest, which is a, which is great because I don't want to put up with um. You know, a very powerful Heatran. So he unfortunately gets the burn, but I'm gonna roost up because I wanna see if I can take another flamethrower. Uh, it's basically gonna bring me down to where I just was with the flamethrower plus the burn, which is unfortunate, but you know, I needed to see uh, how much that was going to do because I needed to figure out if I was going to let uh, Manibus go down or not. At this point, I'm just going to do some chip damage. The foul play isn't gonna do anything, but I need. Mandibuzz to go down to another flamethrower here, plus the burn, uh, because there's really not much my Mandibuzz can really do. He It made a huge play when it knocked off the Assault Vest from the Heatran, and I was extremely proud I was able to make that play. Uh, I just really wanted to knock off anything any of his Pokemon are holding, so he is unfortunately going to take my Heatran out as well. I'm glad Heatran does not know Moxie. Um, or just some cool move that would raise special defense I would raise special attack after each knockout. Um, but, I am going to break them all. It doesn't really matter. But I'm going to send out my Ray Paros and use an EQ on the Heatran. Taking the Heatran out. Now, if you guys don't know, or, or if you're not familiar with uh, Rampardos, his attack stat is through the roof. He is such a powerful Pokemon. He's relatively slow. No, he is very slow at that. He is very slow, which does suck. But his attack stat is enormous. And I, I love using him just because of that reason. Uh, but he's just... The, okay, my main plan here was... I knew he was going to use close combat. So I wanted to bring somebody out who I uh, who I could just death bottle off. Because I wanted him to A, um, get the Rocky Helmet damage. And B, I needed him to lose um, all those stats with the uh, close combat. The defense fall and uh, the special defense fall. I needed him to lose those because I needed um, my scissor to actually come in and bullet punch away. So I'm gonna send out my scissor right here and I'm hoping he doesn't switch out because I need to land this bullet punch and take out the sock. He does withdraw unfortunately but I'm just going to bullet punch anybody at this point and you know thankfully he sends out his Porygon too simply because I'm just going to get a decent um, a decent amount of damage on this Porygon 2 with the bullet punch. Now at this point, I'm just going to switch up because I don't want to take a try attack. I really do not want any damage happening to my scissor. I'm going to bring out my Rampardos because I am figuring my Rampardos can in fact take said try attack. And I was right. Yeah, so after this try attack right here that I'm just going to eat up uh, somewhat well, I'm just going to EQ away. Well, that was a crit, so even if it wasn't a crit, I would still be able to eat it up pretty decently. But I'm just going to just barely take out the Porygon 2 with an EQ. He is going to use Icy Wind, thinking if he uses Icy Wind, he'll outspeed next turn. But unfortunately, it doesn't really play out well. So I'm just going to EQ, because I, I am just going to get my next attack off and take out the Porygon 2 with said EQ. Now, I'm... It's just, I'm happy, I'm stoked, I'm ecstatic that I was able to take out the Porygon with all those EQs. Uh, but he's just going to take out my Rampardos right here with the close combat, which is perfectly fine. Because I was I was going to leave it in for anyone to take it out anyways. Uh, now, I can go into my Scizor and bullet punch this uh, Sock after he loses the defense and special defense. And I'm able to take out the Sock with um, a bullet punch. Now, I'm just excited or I'm happy rather that I was able to take out the scissor because that scissor is pretty decently fast uh, he does have a pretty cool or pretty um well yeah pretty cool and pretty good uh, attack stat so I'm glad I was able to take out this uh, that sock he would have posed posed so many problems for me but I'm gonna get another bullet punch off because I'm locked into it I am choiced um, choice choice Banded? I, I completely forget what item I was holding, but the Espeon is going to set up a Reflect. Um, obviously, the Bullet Punch isn't going to take him out, but I'm just going to take out the Espeon right here with another Bullet Punch. I am locked in, into uh, said Bullet Punch, so I'm not going to be able to uh, Roost. I'm not going to be able to U-turn. I'm not going to be able to really do anything. So, he's going to go out into a Sylveon. His Sylveon can eat up a Bullet Punch or two after um, the Reflect, while the Reflect is still up. So that's unfortunate, but I'm just going to wait out the Reflect, and he's just going to hit me with another, or with a Shadow Ball, which isn't going to do anything to my Scizor. 
now, my bullet punches will be able to do a lot of damage here shortly. He is losing a good amount of HP, even with the reflect up. Now, he's going to eat his citrus, which, you know, is a problem, but at the same time, I can, I'm can i easily able to take out the Sylveon. Uh, like I said, I'm just going to wait out for the reflect to fade out. So, as you can see, the reflect does wear off, and I'm able to hit a bullet punch, and, you know, this Sylveon does not light steel or iron or whatever so he's just gonna make a last ditch effort and hit me with a special uh with a shadow ball lowering my special defense he probably could have used that earlier on in the battle unfortunately he got the special d drop later on in the battle and i'm able to defeat him maybe if maybe if he had gotten the special d drop uh earlier on in the battle he probably maybe would have been able to take out my scissor but we will never know but, if you guys, if you fellow Crobats enjoyed this battle, then please, by all means, Arceus, because this was my very first Trick Room team, I probably could have done better. I'm hopeful, I'm hoping that I do better with my next Trick Room team, whenever that will be. But, like I mentioned before, if you fellow Crobats enjoyed this battle, then, you know, please, by all means, Arceus, because it definitely helps me out a lot. And I'll catch you guys all on the flip side.